Core Precision Targeting Cartilage Repair System. The Core Precision Targeting Cartilage Repair System is designed to surgically treat full thickness femoral articular cartilage lesions via autograft or allograft transplantation. Planning the procedure. Chondral defect and donor sites should be inspected, debrided, and measured to determine the number and size of grafts to be harvested. Beginning at the margin of the lesion, a probe or core plunger can be used to measure the defect size, determine the harvester size, and plan graft placement within the lesion. Recipient Site Drilling Insert the perpendicularity rod into the distal end of the drill guide and attach the perpendicularity rod cap to the proximal end. Use of the rod cap is optional. Insert the drill guide and perpendicularity rod assembly into the knee. Position the drill guide on the defect site and remove the perpendicularity rod cap. Ensure the drill guide is perpendicular to the recipient site by maintaining pressure while positioning the drill guide until the perpendicularity rod is centered. While maintaining the guide cutter position, turn the perpendicularity rod counterclockwise until it disengages with an audible click or slight recoil. Remove the rod. Drill under direct visualization with drill guide perpendicular to the adjacent articular surface. Drill site to desired depth using depth markings. The sharp tip of the drill creates a starter hole and prevents the drill from migrating off the intended site. The concave sides of the fluted drill remove bone during drilling to reduce friction and heat. Graft Harvesting with Perpendicularity Rod Prepare for graft harvesting by inserting the perpendicularity rod into the distal end of the harvester delivery guide or cutter. The rod is properly seated when it engages with the cutting tooth on the harvester cutter. The cutting tooth, a unique feature of the core system, underscores the cancellous bone at the distal end of the harvester tube and allows for a precise depth cut. Attach the rod cap to the proximal end of the perpendicularity rod. Note, use of the rod cap is optional at this point. Position the harvester guide or cutter on the selected non-weight-bearing surface to harvest the graft. Remain perpendicular by maintaining pressure and centering guide cutter. Remove the perpendicularity rod by turning it counterclockwise until it disengages from the guide slash cutter. While maintaining perpendicularity, use a mallet to tap the guide cutter to the desired depth mark. Make note of depth for later use with backfill plug. Rotate the T-handle two complete revolutions, then withdraw the assembly while gently twisting the T-handle. Graft Transfer to Harvester Delivery Guide On a firm surface, insert the guide slash cutter into the graft loader. Firmly push the guide slash cutter until it makes contact with the bottom of the loader. Remove the cutter from the guide by twisting the bayonet ring to the unlock position. Inspect Graft Keep it within the delivery guide until transplant. Graft Insertion Place the guide over the recipient site. Insert the plunger into the harvester or delivery guide. Gently tap the plunger with a mallet until it contacts the T-handle. Remove delivery guide. Universal tamp may be used to fine-tune graft placement. Multiple grafts may be used depending on defect size. If multiple grafts are required, maintain a 2 mm bone bridge between holes for a secure graft press fit. A second graft is placed.
Using the measurement noted during donor plug harvesting, cut the backfill plug to length on the non-chamfered end. Utilizing grasper or arthroscopy cannula, insert backfill plug into donor sight hole starting with the chamfered end. The universal tamp may be used to fine-tune graft placement.